by the end of the video you will be able to create an app like this so for example you can ask a question and the assistant will reply to you and this video we're going to be using streamlit with langchain and everything is going to be powered by open assistant a similar model powers the hugging chat chatbot from hugging face the goal is to show you how you can integrate these powerful large language models with your own applications so let's get started okay so now let's look at the architectural diagram or of, of our chatbot now in terms of the chat so we're going to be developing both the front end as well as the back end at the back end we are going to be using open assistant uh, as our llm that's going to be our large language model which will generate the responses at the front end we're going to be using streamlit's graphical user interface to accept inputs from the user in the form of text then using the streamlit chat interface they are going to be sent to the open assistant and through the open assistant api we're going to generate a response and send it back uh, using the streamlit chat manager uh, and that's going to be displayed as a message to the user uh, if some of these components do not make sense that's okay when we walk through the code everything is going to be much clearer i don't know what streamlit is it's a python package that actually lets you create powerful graphical user interface for data analysis within python it's very similar in functionality to gradio which powers most of the apps that you see on hugging face so let's dive into the code so the app that you saw we will create this under 90 lines of code i'm going to be running this in visual code studio but you can even run this on google colab now uh, first and foremost you need to make a virtual environment so that uh, you don't mess up your uh, python in, on your machine then i will provide uh, this requirements.txt so it simply has four different uh, packages that you need to install in order to run this we actually probably need langchain and uh, hugging face hub as well but i will update this uh, requirements file before uploading the video I type in pip install dash r and then requirements.txt if you run this it will uh, install all the required packages i already have installed it so i'm not gonna do this step next i would recommend to create a dot env file uh, and within that you need to have a hugging hu hugging face hub api token so this has to be exactly like shown here otherwise it's not going to work after that you want to go to your hugging face account click on settings and then click on access tokens and copy your token and simply come here and paste that token and just uh, save the file okay now let's look at the main code so uh if you're not familiar with streamlit do not worry i'm going to give you a crash course while we are walking through the code okay so the first section we are simply importing all different packages that we'll need so the first one is uh streamlit and the, that is imported as st right that's going to be used for uh, creating all the graphical elements of our uh, app then there's a uh, streamlit chat that we install and streamlit extras then we have uh, actually we don't need this okay uh, and then uh, a few things that we need from langchain so the uh, prompt template hugging face hub and llm chain on this one this load.env uh, it's going to be used for loading our environment variables so the hugging face token that we just stored that's going to be loaded using this function next we will be setting some configurations using streamlit so if you look at my app, there is a title bar and it says open assistant powered chat app now that is set using uh, st dot set page configuration and that's the page title that we give uh, another element that you see is this sidebar and it has a whole bunch of text and links now that is set using uh, this uh, streamlit dot sidebar, right? So then we give it a title, right? And you can actually include emojis. That's pretty nice. And within markdown, so the links that you saw, they are here. So you have like streamlit, the corresponding uh, link, right? Langchain, the corresponding link, and then open assistant. And I added vertical spaces of uh, three. And then there is a small uh, text made with low by prompt engineer to explain the rest of the code so i'm going to just click on that right and now we we are left with the uh, actual interface only 
right so then uh, after that we are adding the header and the header is your personal assistant so the header uh, is basically the header of the page okay and before walking through the rest of the code let me show you how you can actually run this if you want to learn more i would recommend you to watch my previous video so here is going to be a link somewhere in that i covered everything in a lot more detail but in order to run a streamlit app you need to write stream lit then run and then the name of the file so in this case this is going to be hugging uh, chat.py okay so click enter and then you will see this localhost web server so simply copy this link go to your browser hit enter you will have your app here now in order to explain the rest of the code we will be referring back to this uh, interface quite a bit so as a good software engineering practice uh, in your script you want to put this uh, dender dender name uh, equal to main so that's going to be the entry point in your code all right so whenever we run this file uh, this code is going to be executed and here is what's going to happen now within uh, this app we are going to be controlling everything using streamlit sessions so initially when you enter and there's no communication from the user or uh, uh, the chat the assistant right so we're using the session to create these two different responses so the first one is uh, session where the user input is going to be represented by user and we generate a response of hi so you see here just we just ran the app and there's this hi and then a uh, assistant response is uh, i am uh, an assistant how may i help you right so it's coming from here it's actually not generated by the assistant but it's just a placeholder that we used in the start of the script now the layer is controlled by these two containers which are divided by this color head right so the response container is back basically all uh, the section about this blue line and the input container is everything uh, below this blue line right and the blue line is being generated using this color header uh, so we can change the colors if you want so let's say just to give you an example uh, if you say green so we need to just rerun it here now it became green right now uh, you can even change the layout so for example if I copied this and let's say boost it here right and then took the input above right so it's probably going to change the order right so you now you you see that the user input is going to be above the uh, line and the output is going to be here but i liked it the way it was before so i'm going to go back to that rerun it so next let's look at how we are processing uh input from the user so for that we have this small function called get uh, text right and it's using an element from streamlit so streamlit dot text input right so that's you see this in u so that's coming from here and then uh, when you click enter after text so that's going to go as a text input now then uh, we use the input container to display uh, the text using the custom input function that we wrote now in order to get um, responses from our LLM we are using this custom function and generate responses so it receives question or prompt or input from the user and then a corresponding LLM chain and it runs that chain to get a response or generate a response and then returns it we're going to look at this in a little bit but let's look at how we are defining the chain now if you're not familiar with LangChain I would recommend you to watch my video which gives you a crash course on LangChain let's look at how the chain is defined so the chain is defined within this chain set of function so let's go and look at it what is going on in here so it has three different components first is the prompt template right so this is the template that we pass on to the prompt template and uh, it will generate a prompt that you can uh, put it as a part of a, a LLM chain for this specific case we are using open assistant uh, the Pathia 12 billion parameter model as our LLM now this LLM expect the input or the prompt in a very specific format so let's have a look at that here is how uh, you need to format your input or your prompt so it's going to start with and this uh, special characters prompter 
then you will put your actual question query or prompt right and then it's going to have end of the text and then another uh, special uh, special token after which the um, LLM will start generating the responses. Now, that's exactly what we are doing in here, right? So if you see, we have a special token which uh, indicates the start of the prompt, then a question that we will get from the user, uh, then end of the uh, prompt token, right? So that's the prompt part. And then here's a special token for the assistant and it will uh, the assistant will simply start generating responses after that. Uh, we take this template, put it as a prompt template, uh, as part of the prompt template, right? And then we are creating a custom LLM chain. And that expects uh, LLM, which is our open assistant, and then the prompt template. And then it simply returns that LLM chain. We will get uh, our LLM chain when we call this function. If you are a visual learner like me, you will love brilliant.org. Brilliant is a fantastic website and app that dives deep into the world of STEM. For example, they offer courses related to STEM in fields such as mathematics, software development, statistics, and even data science. What's great about Brilliant is that they believe in learning by doing. So no more boring lectures or endless textbooks. They make it interactive. Since we are talking about LLMs in this video, they have a course on artificial neural networks. You can clearly understand the concepts that are being presented using visual aids. Brilliant carefully curates their problems, gradually increasing the difficulty as you progress. And don't worry if you get stuck. There is always helpful hints to nudge you in the right direction. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer, free for full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash prompt engineering or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Okay, so the last part is the response container, which simply generates all the responses from the model and put this as a uh, input from the user, output from the assistant, input from the user, output from the assistant. Okay, so let's have a look at it. What is actually happening? So first, if there is a user input, right, then it's going to take that uh, user input along with the LLM that we just created, right, and call the generate response function. So then uh, within the generate response function, we are running the chain on the question. So basically it will pass on uh, the question here to the prompt and it will go to the template and replace uh, this part with the user question or uh, user input, right? And generate a response. So you get a response. Then what we do is we go and append this as a part of the user uh, variable that we define in the start, uh, that's the part of the uh, uh, stream ridge session. So it was defined here, right? And then uh, the generated response is going to be also appended to the session uh, as a generated variable. Now, once we get a response, after this, it checks if there is a response or not. So if there is a response, then uh, it will simply go and actually create messages both for the uh, user input as well as the generated responses. Okay, and those uh, are going to be appended in here. So for example, uh, we can ask it something. Let's say we say, uh, what is the capital of France, right? And let's see what it can come up with. Now, the, uh, it says the capital of France is Paris, is Paris the capital of France. Now, uh, just keep in mind that this is not bi-directional, so it doesn't have any memory. Okay, so this is from the LLM, so it has nothing to do with the app, but it says, no, uh, Paris is not the capital of France. The capital of uh, France is Paris. Uh, but let's say, if I say, what is its population? Uh, so it, it's not going to have any memory of our conversation, right? So it's just uh, one way. Uh, communication. Uh, right, let's see. So, which city are you talking about? Now, in the subsequent video, I will show you how you can add memory so that uh, the model has a context of uh, it will know what was the previous communication and it will continue that communication.
um, I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have, if you guys have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to address those. Now, as you may know, we now have a Discord server as well, so come join us. If you like what you're seeing here, and you can support the work, uh, please consider joining uh, the Patreon. If you're new here, so consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.